All right, what you see here is a new tone decorator ceiling fan. It's an antique brass finish in 52 inches. This one is from a fan collector, Will, better known on YouTube as WeFire88. I got this fan along with a, quite a few others from him that he was giving away for free because he was just gonna end up donating them to the Habitat Restore. So I figured since these are childhood fans of mine that I'd take them up on the offer. Um, I saw two of these in, the, in white at a church and they're still there to this day in the, um, the parish office. And there's a place that has one of these in antique brass but with different blade arms that they look more like the Casablanca style blade arms with a pretty large schoolhouse globe. I know that one's a new tone decorated. The other one I'm not 100% sure on, but it, it could be. Just with maybe diff different blades or blade arms, I'm not sure. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> so they've sold these fans back in the 80s. They were a bit different. They were four-bladed, and they had a different switch housing. And if I'm not mistaken, the decorator was basically a replacement to the CI on just being the budget model for Newtone at the time. Although nowadays Newtone doesn't really exist anymore for our fans. But um, I've always liked these fans. Um, they're nothing really special, but they are classic looking. A typical builder looking fan. But yeah, from what Will told me, this fan was basically brand new when he got it at the restore. I mean, it still has those paper and that's and it's in pretty good shape there's a few dings here and there from it being stored away and such but um yeah the fan is from october of 1991 there's the tag right here i'm not sure if this is made by fan thing or not or if it's it might be made by air cool i do know around the 90s air cool didn't make most of their Spinner fans like these. They still had a few um, stack motor type options at the time, like the Veranda 2, the Elegance, and maybe a few others, but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, around this point, Newton was like, they had more models to offer, but their quality definitely took a dive. As this is like when they started doing more imported stuff, and this was one of them. Whereas like in their 80s era, most of the stuff was just from like the actually US made stuff, except for the pro lines, I think, or the only ones that weren't US made. <clears throat> but I could be mistaken on that. But um, yeah, this one, I figured since I don't have any antique brass builder fans of sorts, and since these always tend to show up in white in terms of finding them out in the wild, I figured maybe grab this. So um, yeah. <clears throat> now I could put a light on this if I wanted I'm just going to leave it alone because I don't want to scuff up the bottom of it and if I was to put a light on it it'd probably just be a cool house which at some point I might do but there's honestly so many other fans I need to test that I'd rather just get those tested so um, yeah here it is on the low speed Now the blades honestly are not in the best alignment as you can see. I mean, they're not bad, but they could be better. Um, I'm not trying to have them snap because I do know that these are kind of flimsy blade arms and it, one thing I need to do is snap it and then I have to get a replacement set. <clears throat> but um, the other thing is, is that when I brought back all those fans, they, they were brought to the storage unit and some of them kind of got dinged up or bent from being stu stuffed all together and such. So that's why they're like this. Yeah, I definitely want to get one in white at some point. Um, I think I know that someone supposed to get one from it, so I'd rather wait until we meet up at Fanimation to buy it off them. Just to avoid shipping, but I mean, 
Uh, I can always just pay him the shipping too if it's easier for him just to get it out of the way. Yes, that's a pretty good road speed to it. It's not too fast and it's not too slow. Like, it's a good road speed for it. Now, I don't think these are flush mountable based on the mounting canopy it has. But if someone wanted to battery, they probably could just get a different mounting bracket for it in the canopy. But it's pretty quiet. It has a bit of a hum or like a buzz to it a little bit, but it's nothing major. But the uh, mounting bracket doesn't have any like rubber or padding isolation of sorts. So it's just a bare metal mounting bracket. So there's like nothing on it, on the top, like when you screw it to the box that like, to have like reduced noise or vibration. <clears throat> All right, now to move up to medium. Now with new tone fans, the ones that people really care for mostly are just the Fernando Deluxe's, Sea Islands, Haciendas, and the Pro Line ones. Those are really the only ones that people really care for. Or oh, and the um, friction drives. But um, I honestly like all of them. Like if I can find any new tone fan, I'll grab it if it's not too expensive or too far away. Because there's really quite a few models out there that not so many people know of that are like more than 90 zero. Oh, and the hug to ceilings too, the huggers. Yeah, like the more recent ones that they were still selling was a builder fan, like a generic builder thing. The Pro Line four which it's really not called that but i'm just calling it that just because to me it's still a pro line that that um more recent industrial that they had and a hugger fan which is the only one i think they still sell to this day basically it looks like the amazon contemporary snack or something like that but kind of sad to see that they're not really doing fans anymore because that is kind of like what got them into the business but now they just became more of like a just a house not like a house brand, but just like a, a brand that just sells a bit of everything, like mostly extractors, bathroom or like bathroom type fans. I used to do doorbells a lot, but kind of sad to see that the company's become like a show of what it used to be. Like they were definitely pretty popular back in like the 80s and 90s. And then after that, they just disappeared, basically. Like in the early 2000s is like when they were really starting to phase out. Just having like a few options, like the Pro Line 2, the Pro Line 3s. And like a few builder options. And that's about it at that point. I mean, I'm not sure when these were discontinued. But I do know that Nathan, at, Nathan better known on YouTube as Epson 120. He has a white new inbox one that's from year 2001 to 2002, which I'd love to buy off him, but at some point, if he's willing to sell it, but that might be like the one of the last ones ever made. I'm not sure if that was like the last year they sold them. I mean, it is, it was a builder option, so it doesn't surprise me too much, but I just didn't know that they went into the 2000s and I thought they were already discontinued by that point. But I mean, it makes sense because it was like one of the more budget ones. So I guess they were phasing out the models, like just continuing them before they what, went to just have one model to this day. I mean, kind of makes sense that they would keep the decorator around for a bit longer. 
But um, yeah, let's go ahead and move it up to high. Yeah, low, medium, it's honestly not bad air movement. Um, I remember when I first tested the ones at the parish office back when I started the channel 10 years ago, I was like, oh, these move a ton of air. But at the time, I wasn't really used to strong air movement or really paid attention to it. They're not the best. They're not horrible air movers. Like, for what they are, they are pretty decent. But the air is better out there. Like, they'll definitely do the job and such. I mean, those were also like some of the first few fans I tested up close. So I feel like that might be why I was so like impressed by the air movement at the time count. The only things I really had to compare were just Hampton Bay stuff or in a few hundreds here and there. And that's about it at, at the time. And the few hundreds I did have up close experience with were mostly just coastal breezes. So even those weren't really that much. But I like these fans. I mean, they're definitely something simple, but it reminds you of. It is something I, that are pretty nostalgic for me. I mean, the fan being over 30 years old, it's definitely. I mean, I remember this being considered like a 20 year old fan. Now it's considered 30 years old, like, compared to like when I first started the channel. And now stuff from the 2000s is around the same age as this type of stuff from like when I was a kid. So, it's crazy to think that this is, like, past 30 years old at this point, where stuff in the 2000s is technically in the, considered in a vintage era, it's, depending, like, what year it's from, like, 2000, 2001, 2002, and 2003. It's amazing how quick time goes by, so, <laughs> but, yeah. It's moving good air, like it's nothing crazy. Um, it honestly moves more air than the Huggy Sailing because it's on a down rod. Like it's definitely a better air mover than that. <clears throat> it's definitely not as much as like a Hunter fan, but it's not the worst. Like I'll definitely do the job if you just need a fan to cool you down like at night or in the waiting room or something. See, like, if I was at the old apartment, like, had I had this, like, back when I was still in the old apartment and, like, before I got the white passport, too, I feel like this is something I would have put in my bedroom at the time since it's super vintage looking and such. Nowadays, definitely not. I'd rather have something more contemporary looking. All right, I'll do spin down. Just because of the look of the rooms that I have, just definitely more for something more from like the late 90s, early 2000s that has a contemporary look. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind putting this in a room, but just it would have to be a room that has more of a dated look that it would work in. <clears throat> I also am kind of, as far as I like brass fans, I feel like it's just more something I appreciate in terms of like past tense, but not something I can see myself installing and so just kind of, kind of gotten a bit bored of them. And it's something that people have seen so much over the years. Like I still like them and I appreciate them, I'll collect them, but in terms of installing them somewhere, I feel like it, that's not the case anymore. Unless it's like a Pacific room where there is brass stuff, but I'd rather have like something that's white, black, nickel. Again, like, there are certain rooms I would have a brass fan, like a dining room or something, but not, like, in the living room or bedroom. Kitchens is not a possibility, but I honestly really like the white work in the kitchen a bit better. But, um, yeah, spin down is obviously not going to be too long because the fans never really been used much except for Will testing it and me testing it right now, so... Yeah, I'll just show it on reverse. I 
Yeah, I, I don't think this was made by Fancy. I'm pretty sure it's made by Air Cool because uh, the sticker on the top is definitely Air Cool looking. And there's a few other Neutron fans from that I have that are made by Air Cool. One of which I've already revealed, the white, the weight 90s of the ceiling. And another one I have yet to reveal. I had like the same style of sticker, the same font and everything. Just I think it's in a different color for one of them though. <clears throat> Alright, now for medium. All right, now for high. And there's that hum. And of course it wobbles more on reverse, which I'm not surprised. But again, it's just for a test video. And honestly, seeing these type of brutal fans wobble is pretty childish for me. So and that's the other reason why I'm not so, wasn't so like serious about getting it straightened out. If it was being installed somewhere, that's a different situation, but it's not, so, um, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more videos to come.